Hey, so we're with Tannenberg, open beta. Whoa, yeah, 64 player. You're on the Russian side, it seems. I'm going to unlock some stuff because I think you get it. Because you were, uh, if you had Verdun. I'm pretty high level in Verdun, so. Seems like a pretty long range map, so I'm going to go with the regular Mosin. That should actually be three line rifle. And we'll spawn on you, I guess. Yeah, so my uh, graphic settings are the same as Verdun. Uh, low, 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 ultra, ultra, low, 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 off. Everything here. Um, where do we go? This, this map's a lot different. Uh, oof. Now I need an M button on my Razor Tartarus. Yeah, so kind of neat. I'm going to have some frame drops because the game is very unoptimized. It is the open beta. It says beta, 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 beta. And, well, Fraps does kind of mess up your frames. So, yeah, we have our three-line rifle, more commonly known as the Mosin-Nagant. If you don't know, three-line is a unit, or the line is a measurement that Russia used. It's basically equivalent, equivalent to point one of, of an inch. Because three line is about 30 cal, or if you want to know what that is in metric, it would be 762. So three lines, 762, or 30 caliber. Let's see, what do we have as. Oh, that's reload. Oh, wow, this guy's mask is kind of funky looking. It's got a big square box on it. Alright. There it is. We have fire support and infantry leader. Someone has a machine gun. Oh, that's there. Oof. Skipper Snoopy. I'm gonna guess that's a player, because there are bots. That MG sounds dumb. All the uh, rifle, all the gun sounds, I believe, have been recorded from actual guns from C and Arsenal. They've been working with. If you don't know C and Arsenal's YouTube channel, that's been doing um, like the history of some World War One guns. I'll have them in the link in the description. Shot at. That's not good. So yeah, this game, new game mode is kind of interesting. Um, it's a lot different than for done. So. The map's a lot bigger. Chad jump shot. <laughs> Is that one of those clan players from Verdun? Boop. Start our Mosin stripper clip. Hey, this guy got me before. Sir John? Is that the Sir John YouTube channel? He's a YouTube channel I watch. I think I was right to pick the um, uh, rifle over the carbine, because if you don't know, um, I don't know if it works the same as Verdun, but uh, carbines have a faster bolt speed, but uh, rifles sh have a longer range. That's how the Verdun balancing works. Oh, look at that! I pick a good spot or what? He 
<laughs> Can't wait till scopes come back. I don't think they will. Like I don't think the Russians had scopes in World War One. They might have. I don't know. You see him? These Mosin sights are definitely not the greatest. Like they they would be um these are the Arshan sights. They're not in yards or meters. They're in a measurement known as an Arshan. Don't know how long that is. It's like I think it's like a little bit shorter than a yard, which a yard is a like a the length of a finger shorter than a meter. Like you're like your pointer finger, that's how shorter a yard is for you metric people. I enjoy learning about uh, obsolete measurement systems. Like, um... The Russian, the Russian Imperial measurement system is one of my favorites because it's very similar to, um... Imper regular Imperial, but there are some differences. Like I said, you have a line and an urchin, and it's kind of funny today because if you think about it, Russia still has this fascination with 762 because they still use 762 by 54, which is the three line cartridge. So, they never really gave it up. They just started calling it something else. Do not advance. That man is running, was running backwards. Like I said, this is open beta. Oop, I hear a machine gun. See him? There's a guy all the way back there. Oh, did I call it in? We'll try out the carbine for a little bit, just to see how it is. Uh, so it's sort of like conquest. Now my squad's over here, but I think these guys. Well, these guys could really use some help. Okay, so this is oh god the. The caulking piece is messing with the sights. That's always nice. Ah. This Mosin doesn't shoot too fast. It's no Lee Enfield, and we're done. Mosins are not very good guns. Like, they're not. Even the finish. Whenever they made their M39s and they tried to make the Mosin, you know, into something amazing, it still isn't that good. It's like the bolt design is just, it's just not a smooth bolt, you know? I mean, it's no Lee Enfield or Ross Rifle or even a U.S. Krag is an incredibly smooth gun. I mean, our Mosin's accurate, yes. But their bolt speed is not good, and their stripper clips are not very good either. Maybe we can help these guys. I think I'm going to go back to the rifle. I like these sights more. I have a bayonet. I don't have a bayonet. What kind of useless... Do you have a bayonet? No, look. I do have a bayonet. Oh. On the rifle. I haven't switched to it yet, have I? No. Carbines don't have bayonets? That's weird. Russia in World War One. What was your problem? Not issuing bayonets to carbines. 
Maybe they did, but for uh, they're just not putting it in. I think that's where they are. Oh, we're getting shot at. If wondering why I keep putting one in, um, you always want to top off and we're done. Wolf. Sir Johan. John. I'm thinking that's Sir John. Because Sir John is a YouTube channel. Let's go back to that rifle. Spawn on Wheezy Figs. And if we're done, you never have to address your squad name. Then again, I, mine is Sas Commander. Or Sasco Mander. However you want to say it. Origin behind that story is a combination of Call of Duty and World of Warcraft. I was playing Call of Duty at the time. I thought the SAS were cool. I started playing World of Warcraft. S SAS Commander with two M's does not fit, or it didn't fit at the time. So I just named it, uh, just took out one M, and so people just started calling me Sasco. Now, my YouTube channel is Trooper Fofo. That's a story between the original Battlefront 2 and Star Wars Empire at War. Love Star Wars Empire at War. Oh, my teammates are here. I hope there's no friendly fire. There's none in for done, so. Oh, someone spawned on me. I was like, what? Why did I stop moving? Ah, oh, there's another one back there. God dang, Mosin, you're too slow. Did I spawn on you? Weezy figs? Probably should have let him go forward. Spawn here. What does infantry leader do? Oh, there. That, oh, it's just attack order from we're done. Is that a man or a log? Ooh. Oof. Log, you didn't save me. What's wrong with you? I wonder how Zab is going to do on this type of map. Eh, probably still good. He's a good player. Hey, we won. Well, that's pretty good.
Ah, best in the squad by one point. <laughs> Look, one point. Oh, it went away. Most headshots, most kills, best player. Oh my god, I'm amazing. It's only because of that good artillery strike. How good did I do? Oh, jeez, there's 64 players. 28. 28's not even that good. <laughs> That's my skills. 28. Jeez, you'd see like 100 kill games in Verdun. All right. Well. Uh, bye.